So one thing we can do is just work our way down the path of the nerve and see if we can palpate any tension points. We can give people sliders. That's usually the, the fun thing that we do with people. But you can also find the greater trochanter. And on the back edge, we know that's piriformis. Then we know when we drop off, we have the gamelles and obturator. And then when we come back off of that, on the back part of the trochanter, we have uh, quad femme. We know that they all come this way as short rotators of the hip. And we know the sciatic nerve is somewhere there. So if you find the greater trochanter and you go that way, they may feel it. So when you're doing your quote unquote piriformis release or different things, you can also just do some rolling of the nerve. Because when those muscles contract, the nerve has to slide and roll. It doesn't just slide this way. It actually rolls medial laterally. So you can do some medial lateral rolling of the nerve. Because otherwise, you do a, a neurodynamic. It's like, oh, yeah, you're, you're tight in your sciatic nerve. I'm going to give you flossing, a little laugh. Oh, flossing like my teeth, yes. And, and you know, it turns into that. And that's all people really do for neurodynamics. So what I want people to do is start looking at just working some of these tension points here. And then the tension points, the, the sciatic nerve will come down here. You'll get to the head of the fibula, and then it splits. And you can actually find some really good tension points right along the soleus. So I want you to just kind of work along the path of the nerve, and then you can follow that up with some sliders. Because otherwise, people are rolling their IT bands. And how you feel that, if you just find the greater trochanter and go lateral, and support the leg and get into that same straight leg raised position. If he dorsiflexes, you'll feel that nerve <laughs> and you'll feel it strum. And I'm not even doing a lot of pressure. So this is a way you can mobilize it as well. And then go ahead and lay in your back. So then usually when you come up, we'd have to measure it officially. But that, that is better than it was. Remember, this is heel strike of gait. 